A routine traffic stop turned into trouble for two of the VIPD's finest Wednesday afternoon. On Wednesday, October 5th, officers of the Frederickstead Bike Unit stopped Rowan James in the Frederickstead town area on a routine traffic stop. And shortly thereafter, the officers noticed that uh, Mr. Uh, James was acting uh, very suspicious. When they went to pat him down for officer safety, he began to fight the officers and had to be subdued. Turns out Rowan James was carrying a concealed weapon later recovered by police, and both arresting officers had to be treated at the hospital for injuries sustained. This is very disappointing to the police department that we have individuals that are willing to fight officers, especially in Mr. James' case. Those officers could have been seriously hurt or even killed, and that's just one more reason for police to push getting guns off the streets. Very simple. If you've got a gun, it's either licensed or unlicensed, you don't want it, you need to get rid of it. Best place to do it is uh, Department of Agriculture um, over in uh, Lower Love. It's St. Croix's gun buyback program being held both Friday and Saturday from 9 to 3. No questions asked and cash on the spot. It doesn't matter if it's a, a pellet gun or a high-powered rifle, a grenade launcher, tank. If you can get it in there, we'll pay for cash for it. We encourage everybody to take part in it. It's uh, one of the few times, you know, that you'll have, you'll have amnesty after this. Uh, if you're caught in possession of an unlicensed firearm, you go to jail. Superior Court documents state the gun on James was registered, but not to him. The registered owner said the gun was stolen when his home was burglarized in 2002. So officials say getting the gun out your home could keep it off the streets. But I just wanted to take the time to commend these officers for an excellent job. Um, it just continues to uh, prove my point that the Virgin Islands Police Department is home to some of the best, uh, best officers in the world. Erica Parsons, News 2.